All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Al Shai Rochakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rochakodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will teach you all in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. In uh, this lesson, I'm going to get into how there's um, global shortages in all fields and in all aspects of life right now. Okay. Um, basically, I was on so was basically on social media and there's a brother that I follow and I'm not really sure where he's from exactly, but I know he follows the doctrine of uh, GMS, all right? You know, he um, teaches the same things, okay? And he uh, basically um, made a post and he was showing all the global uh, shortages in, uh, in these uh, particular, you know, these different fields, okay? And I want to get into a couple of them right now. And the first one is going into the um, into the lumber um, industry, all right? You have a lack of lumber right now, okay? And what what, what the, uh, basically what that's doing is uh, shooting up home prices, all right? That's also shooting up uh, home improve, uh, basically home improvement projects, okay? Which that's going to lead to what? People not buying. And that's going to, what, further damage the economy, the already, you know, weak economy, okay? Now you have this as well. You have a pilot shortage, okay, you know, for these airlines. And pretty much, you know, that's going to um, interrupt a lot of things, and that's going to hurt the economy. And the reason why I say that is because not everybody that travels is traveling for pleasure now of course you do have people they, they go on vacations you know they you know do their thing but a lot of, of the um a lot of uh, these uh, uh these passengers they're traveling for business okay they gotta you know travel for business they're not it's not for pleasure and that's gonna damage the economy because you know you're gonna have things canceled you know uh, whatever it may be you know their um meetings you're gonna have you know the hotels, they're going to um, have reservations canceled. You know, they, 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 that's a whole uh, trickle f effect, okay? Then these um, these restaurants, you know, they're, they're going to lose business. You see? Now here's another thing, and this is happening throughout the entire country. A shortage of police officers, okay? And I'll say this, out here in Chicago, I heard a report, I think maybe it was like a week or two ago, they said that out here in Chicago, you already had 400 police officers uh, who retired, okay? And the reason why is because, one, yes, you have some of them, they are, you know, at the age of retirement, but you also have other police officers, they're retiring because of all the chaotic, you know, events that are going on, okay? A lot of them, they, 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 they see it, they see um, that it's not worth their, you know, their safety, okay, their life. All right, to work as a police officer, they're saying, you know what? I'd rather stay at home and be with my family. You know, that's more important than than you know a paycheck. All right, you got um. Also, out here in Chicago, I don't know how it is elsewhere, you know, throughout the United States, but out here the officers are overworked. You have uh, the, a lot of them are working 12-hour shifts, forced, uh, mandatory 12-hour shifts. Okay, um, a lot of them are being called in on their days off. They're not getting um, basically uh, time off, you know, if they want to, you know, uh, set up vacation days. They're not getting that anymore, really, you know. Be, and the reason why is because of the, of the lack of officers. And a lot of people, they don't want to become uh, officers anymore because of um, the, uh, the negative uh, um, stigma that comes with it, okay? So this is what's happening, all right? And it said here in this article talk about there's shortages of guns okay for some of these officers and let's go you see all this stuff is leading to what increase in crime you have this right here what child care centers uh, at risk of staff shortages okay all right see all this stuff is is hitting man it's hitting all right and then I typed in on Google glo uh, global shortages and it talked about Global chip shortages, all right, that's for your cars, 
okay your computers cell phones okay so you're gonna have a uh, increase in, in in car prices which you already see increase in oh, what do they have um used car prices have uh, skyrocketed you know it says here million of jobs and shortage of applicants so you got all these jobs out here but people don't want to um they don't want to uh, uh, go back to work. A lot of them have uh, have been living off the government. A lot of people are still scared of this uh, this pandemic that's happening. Okay. And then basically the food supply chain is being hit. All this stuff is happening. So what the, what is that going to lead to? It's going to lead to chaos and destruction. Okay. Civil unrest. You're going to see the increase in crime. And out here in Chicago, it's already happening. All right. Now um, I'm gonna get some uh, some scriptures now. All right, that are um, that are basically going to um, explain what's gonna happen due to all these shortages. Okay, this is uh Second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell in there." And the word "woe" means destruction. So woe unto these people that live in this world. Okay. All right. And the reason why is because we're in the time of judgment. This is the time that we're living in, okay? Everybody wants to, you know, do their own thing. They want to, you know, disregard the Most High in, you know, His ways and His works. And you see, the Most High is going to punish you people because of your pride. And you know what? Let me get that real quick. This is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and uh, 50. And it reads, um, 2 Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter day, latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And you see, this is the reason why these things are coming to you people, because of your pride. All right. And as the scriptures say in Sirach, the beginning of pride is when one departeth from his maker. The beginning of pride is, uh, is the... Uh, um, is the start of uh, sin I believe that's how it's worded I, I, I know I butchered it Alright But pretty much You know Once that pride seeps in Okay Which this whole world Is prideful Okay You know it, Pretty much everybody <laughs> They exalt Everybody here You know Alright Everyone's exalted uh, Your philosophy your, your philosophies Your ways Whatever it is, hey, it's, it's um, like I said, exalted in this society, all right? You know? Well, this society pushes what? Do as thou wilt. You know, it doesn't uh, push the ways of the Heavenly Father. And this is why this place is going to be destroyed, okay? <laughs> and the scriptures say, man in his best estate is all vanity, okay? <laughs> so... If you're not serving Yahweh Bashim Shai, you're through. Okay? You're through. I'm going to keep reading. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 15 now. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Okay, that's what's coming. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's what's coming. Okay? You're going to start seeing that. You're going to start seeing more and more people, you know, um, get into uh, basically gun battles it's gonna be the wild wild west out here man very soon all right and out here in chicago you have people um getting killed on the expressway this is a, a normal thing now you constantly uh see these reports literally pretty much every day about how there's a shooting on the expressway this person died this person injured it's becoming like i said a damn wild wild west man okay you out here uh, uh, um on the train or uh, uh, in the train stations you got people having knife duels <laughs> this is what's happening out here You know Okay This is what's happening People are really fighting each other It's only going to get worse Once what happens The lack of goods um, uh, When there's lack of goods When that You know the increase The increase of um, Of these shortages Okay When there's lack of jobs Lack of food It's going to get worse out here People are going to do desperate things During these desperate times Okay Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men. Okay, meaning basically an uprising against the government. Whether it be with words or whether it be physically, which that's what's uh, going to happen at some point. Okay, that's what's going to happen. You know, you're going to see 
people not, um, oh, I'm going to read it right here. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And you see, these uh, these people out here, they're not going to care if you're you know, a police officer. They're not going to care if you're, you know, a, a, an alderman, a mayor, you know, whatever politician you are, whatever status you are, you know, they don't, they're not going to care if you're a CEO in that day. It's going to be every man for himself. Okay. And it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And you see when all this um, chaos, you know, um, once that occurs, what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, military forces, okay, being implemented. And even these cops, they're going to get more militarized. And it's going to get to a point where, it, you know, you you can't travel freely like how you are now. You know, you can't go from, you know, uh, country to country, state to state, city to city, neighborhood to neighborhood. That's going to get, you know, cut off. Okay? That's going to cease. And they're going to have the justification to do it. All right? And you see these um, these people that have money, they're going to get protected, okay? And they're going to have the, the resources. And you people that are, you know, uh, poor status, you're going to be out there fighting for your lives, man. But eventually I'll say this, even you people that have money, although this judgment's going to come to you too, eventually they, you're going to have these people that have nothing. They're going to, you know, raid, you know, your uh, neighborhoods, your, um, your homes. It's going to happen. Okay, and I'm gonna keep reading. For because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. All right, that links up with that uh, Second Ezra eight and fifty that we read. It says the houses shall be uh, destroyed, and men shall be afraid, and that's what's coming. Okay, hey, everybody that you know thinks they're so you know tough, you know, uh, you know that that's you know uh, uh, a thug, a, a game banger, a, a professional fighter, a cop. Uh, you know, a military, you know, officer, all right, you know, a soldier, hey, you people are going to be all be afraid because, you know, there's going to be so much chaos going on, it's going to, you're not going to be able to get it under control. And the only ones that are going to be calm are the ones that have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the elect. As the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, all right? And it reads here, <clears throat> I'm going to keep going, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And you see, that's what's coming. This is what's coming to this place. All right. And we're seeing what right now? Basically, the lack of bread. And that's going to lead to what? Great tribulation. Okay. And when that occurs, what's going to happen? Chaos. We're in these stages right now. It's being basically... um. It's being uh, formulated right now. It's, it's, it's the beginning process of, of, a, uh, of a destruction of a society. Okay? We're, we're in the beginning stages of all these things. Okay? And yeah, right now, it may seem cool. Yeah, you're able to go, you know, to the grocery store, gra you know, grab, um, you know, your groceries, your food. You may be able to go to a restaurant right now. Hey, you're able to go, you know, go get a beer at the bar, you know? These things are, you know... Are you know are happening right now, but eventually this stuff is gonna stop. It's gonna cease. It's not gonna continue. Okay. And that's why, hey, if you're an Israelite, as the scriptures say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right. Simple as that. Repent. Because if you don't repent, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay. You are gonna die terribly. And it ain't gonna be no joke either, man. Okay. Hey, the types of deaths that are that are gonna occur are gonna be unreal. And horrific and painful. All right. And with that, I'm going to end it off. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. How about Shemiah Shire? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great Millstone and salutations to your brothers out there. Shalom.